Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to introduce my friend from YouTube, Bry the Math Guy. He's got a YouTube math channel, he's got all kinds of really cool stuff on there. He's a good guy and he is going to try to work this out, so take it away Bry. Here we have a really nice derivative, well maybe I think it's nice. How would you go about doing this? I think I'm going to use a technique called logarithmic differentiation. The way we do that, I'm just going to call this y. So. I'll just say y is this thing, sine x cos x over e to the x ln x. Why am I doing that? I'm going to take the log of both sides, the logarithm, the natural logarithm even. So this would mean that natural log y is natural log of this nonsense, natural log of the whole thing. Why am I doing this? Well, I'm pretty much just taking advantage of properties of logarithms, namely that if I have the log of a product, well, I can write that as the sum of logs. If I have the log of a quotient, I can write that as a difference of logs. So I'll just rewrite this. Think back to your pre-calc. This would really mean natural log of sine plus natural log cosine and then the ones on the bottom, those get subtracted. So minus a natural log e to the x and a minus a natural log of a natural log of x. Why have I done this? Well, this way, the derivative is much easier. I just have to remember implicit differentiation and the rules for taking the derivative of the natural log function. So here I take the derivative of both sides, right? I have things going on. This isn't just a y equals anymore. So I'll take the derivative of both sides. And on the left, when you're taking the derivative of the natural log of a function, the rule is the y just goes on the bottom. I'll just copy it. Its derivative goes up top. Well, what's the derivative of y? That's the question I was trying to find out. So I'll just call it the derivative of y. I'll call it y prime. On the right hand side, I'm going to actually be able to take these derivatives following this same rule. The derivative of natural log sine, throw the sine on the bottom. The derivative of sine goes on the top. What's the derivative of sine? Last time I checked, that's cosine. Let's keep going. The derivative of ln of cosine, well, I put the cosine on the bottom. The derivative of cosine, I think that's negative sine. This is pretty convenient because I have an ln of an e. Well, those actually cancel out ln of e. This is just x, very convenient. So this is really just the derivative of minus x. The derivative of minus x is minus one. And then here, maybe you have to think a little bit more carefully because we have a chain rule going on. Same rule though, the derivative of natural log, whatever's on the inside goes on the bottom. In this case, the inside is the natural log and its derivative goes up top. What's the derivative of ln x? It's one over x, and you could rewrite that if you like. Now we're nearly done here because y prime is the answer. y prime is the derivative of y, which was the original thing I wanted to find. So I'll just multiply both sides by this y. I'll say that y prime, or if you like, you could call this dy dx if you prefer that notation. It's just this y times all this nonsense. y times this. Cosine over sine, I'll call that cotangent. Minus sine over cosine, I'll call that tangent. Minus one, one over x over ln x. Just think properties of fractions here. You could rewrite this. And instead of saying y times this, be nice if we just had our entire equation in x. So I'm not gonna do it, but you can just take this y and just replace it with what we know y to be, this entire sine x, cosine x, over e to the x, ln x. That entire mess should be our derivative. Good work, Bry. That's it, take care. Make sure to check out Bry the Math Guy's channel, subscribe, like, and share. Take care.